here we are finding the initial amount and rate of change given an exponential function. It says a study is done on the population of a certain fish species in a lake. Suppose that the population size p of t after t years is given by this following function. It says find the initial population size. What does the function represent, growth or decay? And then by what percent does the population change each year? Okay. And so you've got two different scenarios that are happening. Okay. One, whenever they say the initial amount, that means t equals zero. Okay. So as long as I plug in t equal to zero, I'll be able to find this initial amount. Now, to know whether it's a growth or decay, it'll be a growth if the base of the exponential part is greater than one, it'll be a decay if the base is less than one. And then how do you find out what that, what that is? You will take the base, um, if it's greater than one, then you'll subtract one and you'll get a decimal and then convert it to a percent, okay? have a decay then you're going to do one minus base that'll give you a decimal and then you're going to convert that into a percent okay so for mine initial population size right initial population size means i'm going to plug in zero for t so then i get 310 times 0 0.91 raised to the power zero I just get 310, okay? Now, does the function represent a growth or decay? Because this value is less than one, it's not a one here or more, it's less than one, then that means I have a decay problem. And if I have a decay problem, the way I find the change is I do one minus that base. So one minus 0 0.91, and that gives me 0 0.09. Now, how do I convert that into a decimal? Move the decimal point two times to the right, so that's 9%. And that would be the percent that I put in there for the change.